What's up, Viola gang? I'm James, and in this episode of Viola Notables, we're going to be looking at a piece which calls for the viola soloist to do much more than just play the viola. This is the Viola Tango Rock Concerto by Benjamin Yusupov. <laughs> The piece begins with an ethereal hour in the orchestra. The viola begins with a slow, sustained melody that sounds mysterious at first, and then gradually becomes more and more ominous. Until the orchestra pounds away at a march, with the viola reaching into its highest register. The first movement is full of places where the viola breaks away into a cadenza. Here's a taste of the most intense and most virtuosic one. Throughout the first movement, which is about 15 minutes in length, the orchestra and the viola build up in intensity over and over. That's when we finally hear the theme. Now remember this theme because it comes back later in the piece. At the end of the first movement, the viola ascends in dynamic and register until it drops off completely, then it's answered by a chaotic wave of noise in the orchestra. The second movement is significantly shorter and it's basically just to build up to the third movement, but it does have some wickedly difficult spots for the violist. At one point, he gets so fed up with the viola solo that he sets his viola down and seems to give up. But then he picks up an electric five-string violin, and you're suddenly transported to a rock concert. And just when you think a viola concerto couldn't get any crazier, a motorcycle drives in, revving its motor like crazy. Okay, maybe it's not a real motorcycle, but it sure does sound like one. Anyways, the rock concert eventually fades off, and we're back on the viola for the fourth movement, this time playing a mournful lament. The orchestra stirs up little by little, and eventually we hear the theme from earlier in its full form. The fourth movement is titled Postludium, and it starts off with a long solo on an instrument called the Bandonian. It introduces a cinematic sounding theme. The orchestra joins in and sets the theme in a tango-ish style. The violist is nowhere to be seen throughout most of the fourth movement, and when he returns at the beginning of the fifth movement, he seems to have forgotten his instruments. 
A fancily dressed woman appears and starts dancing the tango with him. Here, I just want to appreciate the guts it takes for someone who just played a very challenging 40 minute piece full of cadenzas to get out of his comfort zone and do something he's probably completely untrained in. Round of applause for Lech Antonio Ushinsky. And that's the Viola Tango Rock Concerto by Benjamin Yusupov. In my opinion, what makes this concerto so effective and so engaging is the creative ways he used all the tools he could in the orchestra to create so many different textures and moods. It's also always awesome to see the viola given some truly virtuosic writing as well. Yusupov originally wrote this concerto for legendary violinist Maxim Vengarov, who wanted to combine these wildly different styles and instruments as a way of going beyond the standard repertoire. I came across it a few weeks ago when I was researching for my video about violinists playing the viola, which you can find with this card over here. That's going to be it for this episode of Viola Notables. I did my best to condense a 50 minute concerto into a short video like this, but if you want to see the full performance, I'll leave a link to it down below in the description, as well as a link to a documentary about Maxim Vengarov playing the concerto. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and possibly learned something. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe for more Viola content. Until next time, Viola Gang, Viola King out.